Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to exponentiate a 2 by 2 matrix as a repeated eigenvalue. Let's consider the matrix five, negative one, four, one. Let's call this matrix over here, let's call this matrix A. Let's find the exponential of this matrix A, okay? And so of course we recall that the exponential of A is just defined by its power series, right? So of course here, Exponential of A is just the identity plus A plus A squared over 2 factorial plus A to the N over N factorial, etc. And it's very easy to exponentiate the matrix if A is diagonalizable, right? So if A is diagonalizable, if A is P, D, P inverse, then the exponential of A is just going to be P, the exponential of D, P inverse. So that case is the simple case. However, let's check to see what the eigenvalues of this matrix is. Okay? So what are the eigenvalues of A? Let's solve this. So we're going to have determinant of A minus lambda times identity equals zero. For us, it's the same thing as saying determinant of five minus lambda negative one, four, and then one minus lambda, set that determinant equal to zero. Okay? And so we're going to have a five minus lambda. This implies that five minus lambda and then 1 minus lambda, and then we have a plus 4 is equal to 0. Great. And so if we FOIL this out, what are we going to have? We're going to have a lambda squared, and then we have a negative 6 lambda. They have a 5 plus 4, that's a plus 9, is equal to 0. That's a perfect square. That's exactly lambda minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 0. So lambda is equal to 3 is my only eigenvalue, but has a multiplicity of 2. Okay, if we want to find the eigenvector, what's the eigenvector that corresponds to lambda equals 3? So the eigenvector equation would be what? It's going to be a 2, negative 1, and then a 4, subtract off a 3 from there, I'm going to get a negative 2. That's my eigenvector equation, v1, v2, equals 0, 0. Okay, and so what I'll have over here is these equations are redundant, of course, I have 2v1 minus v2 is equal to 0. So that says the only eigenvector we get over here is going to be what? It's going to be a 1, 2, right? In other words, the eigenspace that corresponds to lambda equals 3 is just the span of this one vector, the span of the vector 1, 2. And so the dimension of E3 is equal to 1. Therefore, this matrix is not diagonalizable. So A, not diagonalizable. Okay, so it's not diagonalizable, so I have to use a different method. However, there's a beautiful semi-simple decomposition of this, of this, of this uh, matrix of this form, right? So for a 2 by 2 matrix, and this will generalize to higher dimensions as well, so I can write A, therefore, as the diagonal matrix 3, 0, 0, 3. That's my eigenvalue matrix. In other words, the procedure for doing a 2 by 2 matrix with repeated eigenvalues is to take the eigenvalue and multiply that by the identity. So this is really 3 times the identity matrix over here, great, plus something that's left over. And what's the left over, what's the left over portion? Well, in order to get to 5, negative 1, 4, 2, I need to put a 2 up top here because 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. I need a negative 1 over here. I need a 4 down over here. And then I need a negative 2 over here. So lo and behold, I get this, like, this sort of this kernel representation over here. So I get this matrix over here. Now this matrix I'm going to call this matrix over here D, and I'm going to call this matrix over here N, right? And so actually what we can check, so it's easy to check that DN is equal to ND. These matrices commute with one another. And when matrices commute with one another, then we get the property that the exponential of two commuting matrices, N plus D, for example, is the exponential of D exponential of n. So I get this angle addition rule when the matrices are, are commuting with one another. Beautiful. Okay? And furthermore, this matrix n is nilpotent. So this is a nilpotent matrix. Okay? Let's check that it's nilpotent. So what's n squared going to be? n squared is going to be 2, negative 1, 4, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 4, negative 2. And so what we're going to get over here, we're going to get a, uh, let's see, so I'm going to have 2 times 2, 4, negative 4, so I get a 0 over here. A negative 2 and then a positive 2, that gives me a 0 over here. An 8 and a minus 8 gives me a 0 over here. 
and a negative 4 and a positive 4 gives me a 0 over here. Beautiful. Because now that n is nilpotent, it's very easy to exponentiate a nilpotent matrix. Because let's look at this series over here. Well, so what will the exponential of a nilpotent matrix be? The exponential of my nilpotent matrix, exponential of n over here, is going to be the identity plus the nilpotent matrix itself plus n squared. But n squared is 0. And n cubed is 0. Plus n to the fourth is 0. And all those terms past the, past the first term are 0. So the exponential of a nilpotent matrix, if n is nilpotent, so that if n squared is equal to 0, then for these nilpotent matrices, their exponential uh, expansion terminates at a certain point. Great. So now an exponential diagonal matrix is easy, right? So now we're in a position to exponentiate our matrix. So therefore what? So therefore, we can conclude that the exponential of our matrix A is the exponential of the matrix D times the exponential of N. But what is the exponential of N? The exponential of N is just going to be the identity plus N itself. So that's going to be N itself is 2, negative 1, 4, 4, uh, what? 4, negative 2. So, what does this turn into? This turns into the matrix the exponential of D is going to be E cubed, 0, 0, E cubed, and then plus what matrix? Times the matrix 3, then a negative 1, then a positive 4, then a negative 2. So this matrix over here is the exponential of our matrix A. So in the two by two case, it's very simple to do. So once you find a one dimensional eigenspace that corresponds to your repeated eigenvalue, what you do is you pull off the lambda times the identity as your first term D, and then the remainder term N will be a nilpotent matrix. And you know that the nilpotent matrix will commute with the diagonal matrix, so you're able to exponentiate by using the commutivity rule for exponential matrices. And therefore, you get a very simple representation of the exponential of a matrix that has a repeated eigenvalue. Thank you very much.